Hi, I'm Tamula. And I'm Danika, and this is why we're fresh out the box. Woo! Um, so we kind of fell into jewellery because uh, we couldn't find bracelets and rings that fitted Tamua um, in regular retail stores here in New Zealand. And we thought, you know what, instead of trying to find them online or trying to get them custom made, which was going to cost us a bomb, we'll try and make them ourselves. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when we first started as well, uh, uh, thing of the beads first. Um, he wanted some kind of funky beaded bracelets, kind of hipster style, but kind of surfy beachy. Um, and when I came home and we started doing the beads, I thought, you know what? Why can't I, you know, harness this, these pearls into it as well? Yeah, so I lived up in Roro for a little while um, and I walked past Julia's Jaws, you know, all the time in the township of Avaroa. Um, I would always go in and admire them and go, you know, I wish I could have that. But, you know, often the price tag didn't quite meet my student means. That's kind of what started us, is that we didn't want to pay an arm and a leg to have a customised ring done for Tamor or a bracelet. You see the price range and then you're just wondering, you don't want to get a loan out just to show your appreciation to someone, so like, you want to try to cut that price out. So personal pieces of empowerment, um, that's kind of how we encompass everything that we're doing. Um, the pieces that we've created, we hope, you know, um, bring to people a lot of joy, a lot of love. Um, it, it gives them confidence, um, especially for women, Pacific women. Um, bold, you know, talented, but often not always recognised for all those talents. Um, and we want to set ourselves apart from, you know, everyone else. Um, and that's where a lot of our pieces with the Tahitian um, pearl or the Pacific motives, um, that is a little bit of, you know, Pacific people um, to say, you know, I'm strong, I'm proud, and this is who I am. New Zealand, they have a green stone, so Pacific, I believe that it's like our green stone for us. So both my parents are from Samoa, um, I'm New Zealand born. Uh, at the age of uh, five, both my parents passed away. A lot of, uh, my auntie gave up her life to take care of me and my siblings. We want to try, my main goal was go to Samoa first, open up a shop, or have um, other stores that um, stock our I'll draw and make a name for myself and for my family. Um, so for, for what we're doing now and people moving from the Pacific to New Zealand, often they come without a lot of um, material goods. You know, it takes a lot to move to a different country and often you can't take a lot of the things that are important with you. Um, and so we feel like it's a little bit of Pacific culture uh, here that people can get and that remind them of home or remind them of something that they have back that was special to them that they weren't able to bring. We can have a ring and just look at it and say, yep, I know where I'm from or have a necklace and say, yep, I'm from there, they're watching me or whatnot. You've got to love what you're doing. That's, that's the main thing. If you don't love it, you're not going to give it 100%. It's got to be your passion. And if you can find something that you can do uh, for a living and you love it that much, you know, you're winning all around. The rest of your life is, is going to be great. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.